Welcome to Let's Play Chrono Trigger for well, duh, for the SNES. Is the only system it's on. Uh, That's not true. Oh well, yeah, actually, I think there's various ones. Is there one for DS or whatever? There's the PlayStation One and there's the Nintendo DS. Okay. Well, welcome to Let's Play Chrono Trigger for the SNES. There we go. My <laughs> name. Uh, this is Ron Moore, and I'm here with Chris, Chris, uh, Heather, Heather, and Danny. Lens of Truth, sixteen eighty nine. What was that? Trump or Truth? What? Lens of Truth, 1689. Oh, Lens. Oh, yeah, from Ocarina of Time. Okay, there we go. Yep, and, yeah, Chrono Trigger. Now, for those of you who remember um, my Ron Moore channel, I did a, what's it called? Let's check out of this. I think four parts of it. And, yeah, so far, I mean, I, I really like the game a lot. It's, uh, I'm not into RPGs, but I really uh, enjoyed in the uh, first uh, 30 minutes, whatever it was, that I played this game. When I played it, I think it was uh, February of this year, March. When I did the video on the Rumor channel, and yeah, I mean the game is just has awesome music, and you know this might be the game once I get through finish playing it that might get me hooked onto RPGs. I, it will be that game for a lot of people. Um, I actually I started playing this game when I was at, uh, I was still at New Tribes, the Bible college I was going to, and I started playing it quite randomly because I had heard of it and I would always heard really good music from it and I figured I might as well give it a shot. I was really skeptical because I thought uh, because it was called Chrono Trigger that it was about guns or something like that. Yeah, but, uh, yeah that's what I thought too. Trigger, I'm like yeah, well, Chrono, I'm, I'm not sure what that is, but Trigger. Pleasantly surprised. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, it's definitely comparable to Super Mario RPG. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, you know, yeah, I never played that one because like I said I'm not into RPGs, but um, though, I mean the closest game that I really loved uh, as far as like RPG as like Shadowgate but uh, that's kind of like an adventure slash RPG I guess but uh yeah I mean and if you see my let's check out of this game I was not really doing good and, and this type of battle because I'm used to like fighting in real time you know like like in Zelda you know like yeah. you're actually fighting in RPG I'm like I'm not good when it comes to that type of strategy so it's going to take something used to a weird timing thing too. There's very few games. I think there's like a Final Fantasy game or something that has its timing mechanism. Uh, <laughs> but there's there's not a lot of games that I think try to. It, it gives you almost like a timer rather than being strictly turn based. It's really weird. Um, one thing I really like about Chrono Trigger and why it's a really good introduction for RPGs. Um, Chrono Trigger unlike some RPGs, does not require a lot of grinding. Um, and by grinding, of course, I mean where you have to go along and keep leveling up and making yourself stronger so you can get to the boss. Yeah. Uh, and be good at the boss. There's a few areas where it helps to grind in Chrono Trigger, but for the most part, it doesn't require a lot. Yeah, I'm not going to do that in this LP. I, I, I'm going to cut that stuff out. If I do grind, I'm going to cut that out because that's, that's repetitive to watch an LP. So, I mean, I know I like don't cut out a lot of stuff my LPs and mainly the SC2K channel because I like to leave room for a, a lot of off-topic commentary. So, uh, but anywhere I hear you, yeah, I chose Wake because I learned my lesson from the last time. Yeah, smart <laughs> choice. Yeah, I want to keep his name as Chrono. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, now I think Venom22 said this is what the game that got him hooked onto RPGs. How about this map? I mean, everything about this game, even graphic-wise... I, I know that the SNES, every time I look at SNES games, I usually get impressed because I don't remember the SNES being as good as it really was. But there's parts of this game that just, like, blow me away in terms of graphics for being SNES. Ron, yeah. do you know what, what mode that is? Is that mode 4? Uh, uh, the only mode I know of is 7, so I don't know what seven. mode 4 is. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. Maybe well, there's I, no such thing as mode 4. <laughs> mode, mode 7 is like what Mario Kart, F-Zero are, those type of games, mode 7. Yeah, we like, saw a scene like that earlier. Yeah, I was thinking that. I was like, F-Zero and Chrome Trigger? What? It was amazing. Oh my, that blew me away when I saw it. Yeah. And right here, uh, as they play this Kikariko Village music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this song so much. I love all of the music in this game. Yeah, a lot of the it's songs I heard in this game are, are awesome. And, uh... So yeah, Chrono is Chrono's mother telling him to get up and go to the Lean's Fair or whatever it's called. Yeah, Lean Square. <laughs> it's me, yeah. Chrono. Or, or is it the, the fair or festival or whatever they have in, over there? Yeah. Yeah. A little, I'm I'm like, do his work out there. <laughs> yeah, it's like this is like Goku from Dragon Ball Z with red hair. This is the same artist. Um, 
who did, does the artwork for Chrono Trigger does the artwork for Dragon Ball Z. Oh, okay. Which, much as I don't like the artwork, I love Chrono Trigger, and so I'm willing to be a little lenient with it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me figure out what to name this girl here. Hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Gentoo. <laughs> That's nice. That's, That's right, nice. Gentoo. Don't forget that she she invited you to see her new invention. This girl turns out to be pretty epic, actually. We always, always think of her as the nerd early on, but she's, like, super epic. Kind of like the female... She invented the roll. Like the, <laughs> uh, the, the female Otacon from uh, Mel Gibson. <laughs> okay, now, oh, all right. Yay, 200. I wish my mom would do that when I left home. All right. I, w- I could use $200 right now. I know, right? Hey. All right, now to now to go to the uh, fair, state fair, or whatever it's called. <laughs> hey, there's Sahasrila from A Link to the Past. Oh no. Okay, now I'll do what Skip Rogers would tell me. Talk to everyone here. And that really is a good strategy in RPGs. Talk to everybody. In okay. RPGs, yes, it's sometimes actually very important, and you'll be stuck somewhere. Not know why not. You can't go forward. It's because the game's mechanism to unlock the next part of the game is through yeah. talking to them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just running hit. That's all I ever do in RPGs. <laughs> you wonder why. <laughs> going on. I always have to tell him to stop clicking through the dialogue. Like he'll, he'll be reading. I don't know if he's just this crazy speed reader, but he'll click and click and click. You hit the donut. Ah. Uh, one silver point. Come on. How about gold point? How about a platinum point? Hey, like the war against Magus. Magus from YouTube? Oh, yeah. Yeah, everyone on YouTube is named Magus for some reason. Uh, yeah, the one I'm thinking of is Magus X1. He might be the most famous Magus on YouTube. I don't know. <laughs> Every, why are we still talking? This is like old news, and it's like the latest gossip. Guess what happened two or 400 years ago? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, this guy. That cat's gonna win. (laughs) (laughs) Here's the part of the game where it's absolutely necessary to get everything right, or you will be punished later on. (laughs) You know what? You should probably host this LP, because I'm like, I'm my element here with this game, (laughs) this type of genre. Don't know what to do, right? (laughs) Uh, Yeah, (laughs) that's okay. We got tutorials on LPs, walkthroughs all over YouTube. That's how I got through Eggman X3. Uh, 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 no, Ronnie! What? How dare you pick up the pendant before talking to her? You know what? You're more I'll... worried about her jewelry than... Oh, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I would have said no twice. <laughs> Actually, I did before I, uh, you know, did a finalized recording of this, but nothing really happened. She just keep on asking, or, or you can't really... Progress further in the game, I assumed, and I was like, oh, "Okay, I'll get back to her." <laughs> situation. Yes. Well, her name is Er. Oh. Hmm. Uh oh. Really? We. Wait. Oh, I won't fit. <laughs> All right, fine. Weegee. I'm meant to put, I'm meant to put, Wee, I'm meant to put Wee guy. I'm meant to put Wee guy. It says Weegee. Okay. I'm Weegee. Of, of Ziggy. You're Chrono. I remember in Ocarina of Time, no matter what name you put, Nabaru would say, what a funny name. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I used to name my character Nabaru, just to, just to be silly. Yeah. <laughs> I hate head. bears. You want to know the latest gossip? <laughs> yeah, and if you say no, I, I don't know if that's relevant in the game or not, but... Uh, okay, now, obviously, we got to kill some time here or go do something else, and... I don't know I if the game is in real time or what, but we got to wait before uh, Gen 2 is finished with her invention. So let me go kill some time here in this festival and uh, maybe some bonus games or something. I don't know. Is there anything good to eat? Candy. In this game? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, let's go eat something uh, somewhere else. <laughs> 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 Alright, let me, uh, you know what? Let me go to the market here. In the Boston market. I was just there! What do you mean visit the stall? What stall? The bathroom stall? What are you talking about? Actually, they're telling you to stall for the LP to make it longer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think we have 15 minutes instead of 10 on YouTube now, though, right? Yeah, uh, 15, 
You can at least go 15 minutes, 26 oh, seconds. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, more Kakeriko Village music. Poor acting. <sighs> All right, leaving Gentoo's house. Let me see if I killed enough time yet. Probably Those not. Balloons. Those balloons make you want to go back there. Looks That's, like candy. Eminent, uh, what the heck? I was about to say Eminem balloons. Mickey Mouse balloons. Ah, oh, of course. You know, believe it or not, there's a game here that's, like, extremely important later on. And if you don't do it now, you're going to have to, like, do it later anyway. It's very annoying, too. You you might just end up using your emulator to have an advantage. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, come on. I hit the A button as fast as possible. Maybe I'll just cheat and use a turbo controller. I know, right? I bet that makes a great drinking game. <laughs> yeah. oh my. I don't know where your cat is. Danny had, when he played this, he had such a hard time getting this cat to follow, right? Oh, really? I kept scaring it off. What? You're not sitting down for your lunch, you're walking around. <laughs> and getting in your way. <laughs> is this who I think it is? Hmm. Robot Battle Trainer. Let's see what this is about. Super robot Battle Trainer. The heck? I thought that was Ganondorf. A freestyle robot? Uh, freestyle rap battle robot? Here we are, freestyle rap battle RPG style. Let me type in some words and then he'll type in some words. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't like you today. It shouldn't be too hard. This is like training, right? <laughs> Ow! Yes, use your heal up potion. Or nothing. Oh dang it, where am I at? <laughs> what? Fortunately, oh, when you're in that menu, you, uh, <laughs> you at least have a delay, so... Yeah. Actually, I did play another RPG a while back, if you remember. Oh, hold on a minute, see what he has to say. I lost you one, here's 15 points. Now wasn't that fun, I still have metal joints. Oh boy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, anyway, I was saying, you remember my, uh, what's it called, Magic or Schwarzenegger review, or, uh, let's check out from a while back, Heather? Schwarzenegger? You mean Scheherazade? Oh yeah, Shahezer. I, no I can't say it. Magic of Shahezer. Magic I can't. of Shahezer. It's an old Arabian princess. Story. Yeah, that's a pretty good game. It seemed like I, I really enjoyed it. I got the game at a flea market when I was really young, and uh, actually had a it, really interesting battle style because you have both on-screen fighting and then the role-play, you know, turn-based style. Was it a flea market like this? No, not quite this. <laughs> <laughs> Some old grungy flea market close to Pittsburgh. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I returned that cat to that little girl, and yay! I wasn't paying attention to what happened. I think I got silver points. I wonder if people try to get this cat. I told you the cat's gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me kill some more Tom here. Hmm. Kill something, right? In Guardia, Guardian Legend Forest, or Guard whoa, the Lost Woods. This place, I love the music in here. It's really oh, yeah. nostalgic for me, too. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh-oh. Get to fight some mushrooms. Here we go. RPG battle. And Mario, you hey. eat mushrooms. In this game, you just fight them. <laughs> yeah, really. I, I When I first played Mario Brothers when I was a kid, I really did think the mushroom would kill you, so I would run from it. Hey, some can. Well, I mean, <laughs> I like, uh, when the Lost Levels, yeah, but I mean, like, you know, the, the American version of the, the first Mario Brothers. If you're playing Super, uh, Super Japanese Kitty, they'll kill you. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> the game that you suckered me into playing. <laughs> yeah. All right, good. I did good for a beginner and finding mushrooms. The heck is this? Hold fight? on, it's got a bell. Oh. Uh, oh, let me guess. Another battle. What? What? Fight those spotters from 
Ocarina of Time or Link to the Past. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to have to continue that in part two. And by the way, okay. this, this LP is requested by Heather, so uh, thank you very much. And we'll see you guys in part two. God bless and take care. See ya. See ya.